Hello, my name is Harry Mosley and I am 11 years old. I live in Sheldon and go to Blakenau Junior School. I have a brain tumour called a polycystic City Fetus Tumour in my hypothalamus. I want to make my campaign massive. I want my help me help of this campaign to go national to hopefully make everyone understand how important this is. Help Harry Help Others was started by my son Harry, um, who was going through an inoperable brain tumour. Um, and basically just because of a friendship that blossoms, a guy that he met at a hospital, uh, Robert Harley, that um, Harry become quite close to, you know, used to phone him all the time and they'd see, give each other updates on how they were doing. Um, and he heard Robert had got poorly, um, insisted on going to see him. Um, and then following that hospital visit, Harry could just come away and said, Mum, I've got to do something. And literally that night, Help Harry, Help Others was born. Yeah, it's when the timeline starts. That's when Harry came up with his idea. And as I talked earlier, that's his friend Robert. People assumed that he was a child, but he was actually a 55-year-old man. Um, yeah, and just from, from one bracelet, all that Harry's achieved. Yeah, he raised, you know, he did. A lot of people assume that Harry was just about making bracelets, but, um, you know, through the bracelets, he raised £750,000 in the last two years of his life. That rose to £1.2 million following his passing. Um, and, you know, not only did he do that, but he also used to often do, you know, a lot of talks to. Um, in school assemblies, he, you know, at the age of nine, he'd be talking to other kids his own age, delivering assemblies. He spoke at the House of Commons, he spoke to the England Footballers Federation, always in London, you know, and anywhere where Harry could make a difference or from his story making a difference, he would happily, you know, turn up. The fundraising is, is an area that takes up so much of our time because we are a very small charity. We rely on public support and, and our own sort of fundraising events. We do lots of community events. In the past, we've done celebrity football for Harry, which used to be at Birmingham City Football Club. We've done all sorts of smaller events where we entice other people to try and join us on you know, bungee jumping. We've done three-peat challenges, skydives, you name it. You know, We've done it. And um, you attended recently our charity ball, which we do annually. Um, it's our biggest, it's our corporate fundraiser that's, you know, not only a fundraiser but it celebrates the work and the impact that we've had on the 12 months leading up to the ball. So this is, we are sat in the meeting room at the moment, and it, well, it's our education centre of our Dropping Cancer Support Centre. Um, so welcome to the Dropping Cancer Support Centre. Um, this is the reception um, that we're meeting with all of our clients, um, and I'll show you all the services that we offer. As I said, literally not long ago, just for all of under one roof. Um, you know, because the idea of the centre is that everything is accessible to patients and their families and their friends. So this room which is sponsored by the National Lottery and also our friends at Tesco's is our new education centre. So here we do support groups, information workshops, whether any other charity have this space for free um, if they want to run something. Um, and also in June we have our Help Harry, uh, we're starting our first Wellbeing Cancer Academy which is an eight week programme that will educate, for the first one is for carers, um, on all that they may face, uh, you know, talking about the feelings, the emotions, the change in circumstances, finances, um, you know, in the thick of the caring role, the guilt, um, it's right to the end when the carer's role comes to an end. Um, and it's about really offering everything outside of treatment from under that one roof in a home from home environment, because when you're cosy, when you're at home, you relax. If you're cosy, you're comfortable, you're warm, you open up. And that's what we're all about. So.
just want to say a big, big thank you to everyone for all your lovely messages, and I want to leave you with a massive, mwah, love you guys. I'll tweet you later, and, and enjoy your day. Bye!